this is an in-class example of open addressing with uh, different um, probing strategies. So let's say I want to insert a 22 into a uh, so far empty hash table. The hash function or the ordinary hash function that we are using is um, k mod 11. Then 22 mod 11, that's 0. So 22 will simply go to the first slot. That's not so interesting yet. But let's assume I want to also insert an 88. So the position 88 mod 11 is also 0. Um, 0 is already taken. So its um, slot will depend on the probing strategy. So in terms of, if I use linear probing, I take the next available slot, that if the um, hash table was empty, will be simply slot 1, so slot next to the 22. If we're using quadratic probing, then um, hki is um, the ordinary hash function plus some constant time i, another cons plus another constant time i squared mod 11, so mod uh, mod m, so mod 11 in this case. Um, so the in our case h h prime of k uh, for 88 is simply zero. So if for i is zero, this is simply zero. So the first position that we probe is always always corresponds to what we get from the ordinary hash function, which is zero. But in this case, zero is taken. So then we move on to i is 1. In our example, c1 is 1, c2 is uh, 3, m is 11. So if we plug all of this in, now um, i i is 1, i squared is 1 squared, it's, it's, so that's also 1. Um, I sum all of this up, that gives me 0 plus 1 plus 3, um, that's 4. 4 mod 11 is still 4, so that means I will place the 88 on position Four. If that position would already be taken, then I would have to move on to i equals 2. So i equals 2 would give me the ordinary hash function doesn't change. Um, I plug in 2 for i, so that's 1 times 2 plus i squared is 2 squared is 4, so I get plus 3 times 4, so I get 0 plus 2 plus uh, 3 times 4, that's 12. So 2 plus 12 is 14. 14 um, mod 11 would be 3. So next I would try to place 88 on in slot number 3. Now if we do uh, double hashing, so double hashing, uh, again, the first position that we check is what we get from the ordinary hash function. So if we would want to insert the 88 with double hashing, we would first again try slot 0. Um, and in this case, it's taken. So now for i equals 1, we have to use the second hash function. That in our example was 1 plus k mod m minus 1, so k mod 10, 1 plus k mod 10. Um, if I do the calculation, then that is um, so 0 for the h prime of k plus i times um, the second hash function. So the second hash function is 1 plus, so k mod k mod 10, 88 mod 10 is 8, 1 plus 8 is 9, um, now 0 plus i times 9, i is 1 right now, so I get 0 plus 1 times 9, which is simply 9, mod 11 is still 9. So now I will place the 88 on position 9, next I would check um, two times um, h double prime or h prime plus two times h double prime, which in our case would then be two times um, two times uh, nine, which is eighteen mod eleven would be seven.